I was cool today. Okay. The same. Who'd you have lunch with? Sandra? Sandra and I haven't been friends for a while. Just curious. Hey, hey. <laughs> Do you even know what you're listening to? I about? like the beat. I was born freakishly early. Well, according to my mom, I was. She's the only reference I have, so I guess I have to trust whatever she says. She told me she was bugging massively when September 8th rolled around and I was born. Mostly because I was 6 pounds, 8 ounces, and she'd gained 40 pounds over the course of her pregnancy. I mean, in retrospect, what was she expecting? I was going to be a 40 pound baby? Ridiculous. <laughs> Not complaining though. All that extra insulation ensured I was born with all my proper limbs. Who knows what was bumping up against my mom's belly when she was preggers. She was crazy once. I guess she still is, but in a different way. Cleo was born early. The doctor told me she was supposed to be due September 11th, which was not ideal, like, at all. So I ate some spicy food, did some yoga, and drove myself to the hospital where, lo and behold, she managed to pop out. She didn't even cry, which I know is bad and probably meant something serious, but I didn't notice. Not really. I could just see her eyes. They were real big and wide. She just kept looking around like she knew exactly what was happening. Like she could see right through me. I asked her once, when I was six or seven maybe, about my dad. She said I didn't have one. When I told her it didn't work that way, she said it did. She said I had dropped from the skies, that she drank baby growth serum, and that so many flowers grew in the yard, and she was blessed. It was destiny. destiny. Wait, say it again? Just to, you know, make it concrete. I'm not busting you. I really found an apartment. It's got a pool and everything. Your other place had a pool too, and yet you're still here. Yeah, that place had other problems. Oh, I remember. Oh, Cleo, there's so many rats here. I can't possibly live like this. Okay, you don't understand how many rats there were. There was a shit ton. I thought they were gonna claw my eyes out while I was asleep or something, or like, climb in my mouth, cause you know how I sleep with my mouth open and that's why my throat hurts okay, every you morning. you complain too much. And there weren't a shit ton of rats. I remember when we came to visit and there were none, like, at all. Yeah, that's cause they were hiding. Rats are smart. Haven't you seen Ratatouille or Flushed Away? I'm glad you found it for your a reference. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Jen. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been staying here for too long. Like, way too long. Pass the knife. It's five already, Cleo. You better get started on homework. What's it today? It's not much. It's second semester, Cleo. Isn't that the time when everything picks up? Time to go? I'm studying. Take a break. You're a walking paradox. You're so pretty, Cleo. Please, Mom. She has so much potential. Mom. Here. 
She's at the age where she should be thinking this, that sort of thing. She's 16. I made friends when I was 12. Now's not the time. Would you like some apple slices, Claire? She can cut them herself. She's perfectly able. Where are you going? Oh, uh, Raya's got a birthday thing. I told you about it last week. Oh, we like Raya. But uh, is she the one to model you on? I don't know. Uh, probably. Ask her how to join. That'll look good. Wait, did you do your homework? I give you my jacket, but I'm not wearing it. Wait, this is like so stupid, but did you know in middle school I just like never wore a jacket? Like, never? Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you proud of that? Well, I, I guess I just thought it was so embarrassing for some reason. Embarrassing to wear a jacket? Well, because my mom used to buy those, like, really big puffy ones, you know, because she thought that kids got colder easier for some reason. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, there's, like, the ones that make that whooshing noise when you move your arms, like, <laughs> Oh, man, your mom is so funny. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Oh, she is. I mean, everything you tell me about her is so funny. These are for me? Of course. <laughs> what? You could eat them. It's just fruit. <laughs> 